Welcome. Now we're looking at security breaches and let's take a look at another case study, which was Anthem, which was an insurance network, one of the large in, um, insurance, health insurance uh, networks. So this affected 78.8 million individuals uh, by the Anthem organization, which is a health insurance company. 78.8 million, so this was even bigger than the case study we saw in the last module, which was Home Depot. So the sequence of events went as follows. Data breach began on February 18, 2014, when a user within one of Anthem's subsidiaries, now again, we have a subsidiary, not the direct organization here, opened a phishing email containing, containing malicious content. So phishing is, is a, a security um, mechanism, you know, it, it's an attack mechanism where an email is used and it has uh, a link to a malicious website or it contains an attachment which, which contains malware. Um, and, and that's how uh, phishing is, is, you know, is, is targeted towards uh, users through email. So opening the email launched the download of malicious files to the user's computer and allowed hackers to gain remote access to that computer and dozens of other systems within the Anthem enterprise, including Anthem's data warehouse. Um, so starting with the initial remote access, the attacker was able to move laterally and inside the organization across the Anthem systems and escalate privileges. So what we've seen here is that these attackers want to gain access and then they escalate the privileges um, of systems and, and that's how they are able to create uh, more damage and gain uh, privileged access which a normal user is not able to gain. And gaining increasingly greater ability to access information and make changes in the environment. So the attacker utilized at least 50 accounts and compromised at least 90 systems within the Anthem Enterprise environment, including eventually the company's enterprise data warehouse, which is a repository of the entire information of the organization. Now, the warehouse is a system that stores a large amount of consumer personally identifiable information, which is a PII information, uh, which is used on cards, uh, etc., and which is very confidential uh, information. And queries to that data warehouse resulted in an access to an exfiltration of approximately 78.8 million unique user records. Similar to what we saw um, in the Home Depot attack, um, in this breach uh, also there was millions of records and there, this malware must have existed for a long, long time and there was such a large number of systems which were compromised here. Um, the privileges uh, escalation took place. Um, and uh, unauthorized activity took place on 50 accounts, um, you know, and, and almost 100 systems. So this reflects back on the monitoring capability uh, that we have. If some activity is taking place on an account, on an ID, on an account, which is not supposed to happen, there must be a strong monitoring system to, de to detect that. And for that, we require strong policy, security policy, and strong user awareness. Um, uh, in order to detect that there is something is right and something is going wrong, somebody is, is inadvertently, um, uh, somebody is intentionally accessing information which is not supposed to happen. So the vulnerabilities that existed, exploitable vulnerabilities were found in the Anthem network. Again, you know, all the attacks happened because of a vulnerability and user security awareness training uh, was later actually conducted to prevent phishing and social engineering. But um, the remediation measures that they took as a result of uh, this, this breach was that they implemented two-factor authentication on all remote access tools. They deployed a privileged account management or administrator ID and a password management solution and added enhanced logging resources to its security event and incident management solutions or the CM, SIEM, Security Information and Event Management Solution. And uh, further, the company conducted a complete reset of passwords for all privileged um, ad administrator, administrative users and suspended all remote access pending implementation of two-factor authentication and created new network admin IDs. 
So these were all steps that they took later, but you can see that here also uh, in the Anthem network, the, the security posture internally was not very strong. They didn't have a very strong security program. There were vulnerabilities, those were exploited. Malware was there, um, uh, which was used to breach those vulnerabilities, and a, a massive amount of information, almost 80 million records were stolen. Thank you, that's all that we have for this module.